Hello everybody, so it is Friday, 3 o'clock right now, I'm on my lunch break. Uh, this whole no makeup thing is going great today, although some of you guys may be able to relate if you have crazy pale skin like I do. Did your face ever get red like this? It's just been red and weirdly discolored all day. That's been a little bit annoying, but I still just love not wearing makeup. It's just like so nice. <laughs> And just, I don't know, it just feels so freeing. Um, but, so I thought I'd kind of give you guys an update on the hair situation that's going on because I feel like I haven't talked about it, maybe I have, but I don't feel like I have talked about it recently. Um, and I just kind of haphazardly put up my hair a few minutes ago and it's kind of like really showing some of my bald spots. I'll kind of show you guys there, I don't know. I can't, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. See there, there's that part. It's like, it's showing a lot of the bald, lesser hair areas. I put in the fibers this morning, but um, it hasn't, like, uh, over around here, this area, but, like, not on top because my hair was, like, all the way up. But I thought I would kind of show you guys how these work. Um, these are the fibers I've been using. Um, Exfusion with the I would recommend if you do end up doing these fibers get the puffer top because it's so much better for putting on uh, like applying than just like tapping it on because that just puts a lot of fibers on it can get all like kind of gross and gritty um, but this has been a lifesaver for me I use the Exfusion keratin hair fibers uh, by topic it's so oh, like I can't I cannot say enough good things about these fibers they have saved my hair I don't know how I'm gonna do this cuz I don't have a mirror but I mean obviously that spot that's one of the worst spots right there that bald spot right there like hey hey guys what's up um, anyways so basically what you do is you just take the bottle spray it I don't, I don't even know if I'm aiming in the right place but we'll see um, okay there we go see let me just like freaking magic guys I'm Harry Potter and yeah I mean it makes my hair is a mess right now cuz like I haven't been brushing it or anything just just for the sake of maintaining it but like this is two-day hair and it's just frizzy and a mess and broken and just not it's just my hair's not doing too well right now as far as health wise just thought <laughs> I'd share that piece of advice with you guys if any of you are struggling with hair loss. Uh, for those of you who don't know, who have uh, not watched my other videos or just happening upon this video, um, my hair loss, you know, while I haven't been officially diagnosed, it's most likely like the combination of a few things. I'm on a very low calorie diet, um, typically original or like straight off to fast is 800 calories a day I'm adding I add a cup of veggies or beans so I get to about I would say about a thousand a day a uh, thousand calories which is still quite a deficit I've also lost like 80 80 ish pounds 80 90 pounds in the past year which does crazy things because hormones are made in fat so when you lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time your body kind of goes crazy um, and it's affecting a lot of other things and I was also born without a thyroid gland so there's just like a lot of factors playing into my hair but since the weight loss it's definitely gotten thinner I've lost a lot more hair uh, so that's why I use the fibers I use minoxidil although I haven't been recently because like I've just been getting frustrated because it like hasn't been doing anything um, but I should probably start using it again if you guys want to see a full video on like my hair experience and my hair journey I guess <laughs> uh, let me know down below because I could definitely make a video about my hair loss and about how I combat it and little tips and tricks I have uh, I'm looking at a thing that looks really dark right now which I'm fine with because you know I'd rather have it look like that than just seeing my scalp everywhere anyways enough rambling <laughs> I think I've been recording for like 10 minutes and I'm going into the gym tonight which I'm so excited for I'm gonna be using a app to help start me training for my 5k which is on January 7th and I'm so excited for. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys later. All right, it is workout time. I look like I have a hairball on the top of my head. I mean, I guess I do. That was a, <laughs> a bad example.
but I mean, I look like I have troll hair. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I'm using this app called, let's see here. It's called the Couch to 5K app here. So I'm going to, wait, it's not supposed to be going. I am going to try using this and see how it feels and I will let you guys know, but let's get this going. Okay, I wasn't planning on vlogging at this moment, but remember a few weeks ago when I had that encounter with a stick insect? Well, they're stalking me. But I don't understand. How is this possible? All right, so I'm putting my stuff in my car because I'm already late. Oh boy, I look like a crazy person. And let's find something to get this thing off of here. Uh, I like don't have anything in my car. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just get on the paper. Get on the paper. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh my God. All right. He's safe. He's safe. Mission has been accomplished. He is safe and sound in the plants, and I'm late for work. Yay! Okay, my camera is balanced in a really precarious place right now. So, let's hope nothing happens and it doesn't fall over. Um, also, just realized I'm wearing the same outfit I've worn. I wore two videos ago, so, sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have any clothes that fit you. Um, I wanted to kind of sit down and chat with you guys. Um, I'm, uh, ugh. I'm struggling right now. Um, not necessarily with food, but just, like, just in general with life. I was kind of inspired. I'm just mentioning inspirations coming from everywhere. I was watching Nicole from uh, Becoming Nicole. She was kind of talking about how she was struggling with her own food addiction. And I know it's obviously something I've been very open about on my channel, but I also feel like I haven't just chatted because like obviously food addiction is one aspect of it, but like the things that trigger food addiction, I hate that word, that cause food addiction or bring it to the forefront are more emotional or whatever. And I kind of got into a headspace this week that really scared me. I have the need to save my money for some exciting things in the future that I will hopefully be able to tell you guys about soon. I have this thing and I had this problem when I was uh, really struggling with food addiction before I started losing weight of needing, feeling like I needed to spend all my available money and that was on food and I, some of that problem still 
I still have that issue. And I noticed that this week, that I was just feeling the need to buy things, like knowing I needed to save the money, but I still was doing it. And some of that stuff I bought was food. I guess I'm just like, I'm really frustrated with myself. Uh, <laughs> Because I just like I've come like I've come this far and now like now I'm having a hard time and now I'm struggling and like going up and down with my weight. It's it's frustrating. It's honestly I'm very frustrated with myself right now. And so I kind of scared myself with the way I was getting with my money and the behaviors that that was leading to with food. So this week I did something that I have not done since the very very beginning of my journey which was I destroyed my debit card and yeah <laughs> some of you may think that's a little bit extreme I'm I'm obviously not to the point to where I was when I cut up my all my debit cards and everything when I first started this journey like that this was like a year and a half two years ago when I did that and that really that's one of the thing, things that really kind of pushed me into it and really helped me get into the right mindset over the past past few days I've just been scaring I've been scaring myself. I've been like, wor I've like, I've been worried about myself and my like addictive behaviors and my self sabotaging behaviors. And so I destroyed my debit card and I gave it to my aunt. She like broke it up and bent it up and I no longer have it. So if I need money, I have to go to the bank and bring my ID and withdraw it. And you know, and that's, that's so much effort for me because I don't know, maybe I'm just inherently lazy, that, <laughs> that it's just not worth it if I want to just get food, like that stops me from doing it, that makes me think about what I'm doing and be like, do you really want to do this? And no, obviously I don't. I want to just kind of sit down and chat with you guys about that because I'm struggling and wait, I just, I don't have anything else to say right now other than I'm struggling um, and I'm struggling emotionally a little bit and with some like personal stuff, <sighs> but I've just really got to, I have, I have the positive coping habits and mechanisms and behaviors, I just need to actually enact them and use them. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've been really struggling with my sleep recently and yeah, I've just, I've just been, I'm just struggling guys and it's fine. I'll get over it and I'll work through it. Like I've worked through everything else. I just, I felt like I should sit down and talk to you guys about it because I know one, it really helps me when I talk about when I'm struggling and it may help one of you guys to see like this journey is constant struggles, <laughs> but it is worth it. It is so worth it. So that's it. It's Sunday. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go for a walk later today when it's cooler. It's pretty hot right now, but go down to the beach most likely and just kind of hang out. I have a really bad headache and I'm tired, so I'm probably going to lay down for a little while and do some homework. But I just wanted to update you guys and if you guys haven't checked out Nicole's channel Becoming Nicole I'm going to link her either above or down below somewhere go check out her channel subscribe to her she's awesome and she's killing it and she's a cool a cool a cool chick and that's it and I'm going to go upload last week's vlog so check that out if you haven't seen it and I will see you guys later Hey everybody, so I wanted to film an outro for this vlog. That was so rude, I like wasn't even looking at the camera. Anyways, um, yes, so I weighed in, I only lost 0.3 pounds, but that is okay, I am okay with that. Because of the added veggies I am having in my diet to help my health and everything, that is gonna make me lose slower while I think maybe I was holding on to some water weight this week I'm not sure um, I'm okay with it like it's okay with me I, I didn't gain and that's obviously a great thing and I still lost 0.3 pounds 
it's okay and next week will be better and I just wanted to make sure you guys knew my thoughts I am feeling good I am feeling very good actually and I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and I love all of you guys there's a separate video regarding my reaction to the election which you guys can check out uh, I will leave a link after this video is done. If you guys want to check that out, just keep in mind, I don't intend to uh, offend anyone with my views. I don't mean to hurt anyone. I've noticed since I uploaded, I've lost quite a few subscribers, and obviously, while well, subscribers are not the most important thing to me, I just hope I'm not offending anybody or upsetting anyone. It was just my honest thoughts, and I'm okay. Like, I'm okay now. I, I'm keeping the hope alive and keeping the motivation alive. And I'm not going to let anything stop me from reaching my goal and continuing on this journey. So I wanted you guys to know that. I love you guys so much. And I will see you next week for an exciting video that will be going up. Um, so keep your eyes peeled, tuned, one of those things. Just pay attention. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram or, or Twitter or Facebook or whatever. And there will be notifications there when this specific video comes up. It is really exciting and kind of scary at the same time um but you guys will know more about that when that is up i believe it should probably be up sunday or monday so keep an eye out for that and i will catch up with you guys later